Welcome everyone, today's topic is about deep friction massage. Have you ever heard of deep friction massage? It is a type of connective tissue massage developed by James Cyrex. He proposed deep friction massage as a therapeutic source for treatment of connective tissue. What is muscle adhesion? A muscle adhesion is a scar tissue that has developed in the muscles. Adhesion acts like a collagen glue within the muscles, tendons, ligaments, nerves, fascia and other connective tissues. It can cause muscle weakness, pain and a limited range of motion. In most cases, muscle adhesions frequently goes undiagnosed. A muscle adhesion was formed as a result of the body's self-healing mechanisms. Here are some of the causes of formation of muscle adhesion. First, it can be due to muscle injury. If you sprain or strain a muscle, scar tissue forms. The sprain or strain itself might heal. However, as a part of healing process, muscle adhesions may form and create a limited range of motion and other issues. Next, repetitive activity or injury can lead to adhesion. Overtraining of a particular muscle group results to development of small tears of the muscle fibers. Repeated micro tears combined with inadequate rest may lead to pain caused by a muscle adhesion. Lastly, muscle adhesion can develop due to sustained contraction. Muscles held in tension for a long period of time causes blood to be unable to circulate to all parts of the muscle. Poor oxygen results to death in muscle cells and develop scar tissue. When a muscle is injured, the myofibers rupture and necrotize causing formation of hematoma. During this first phase, the inflammatory cells can freely invade the injury site because the blood vessels are torn. The muscle adhesion or scar tissue formed give the injured muscle strength to withstand contraction. However, it may cause issues such as limited range of motion or pain. This setup is the representation of muscle bone and tendon. Here, we have a normal muscle and a muscle with adhesion. Muscle functions to stretch and contract. However, with the presence of adhesion, it prevents muscles to stretch and contract properly and unable to slide freely over one another. Muscle adhesion can lead to pain and reduce strength of muscle. It also limits mobility, flexibility and range of motion due to reduced muscle length. Muscle adhesion also causes the need for more force to be applied to contract the muscle. This increased force leads to more tension and a higher production of inflammation in the area. What is the purpose of deep friction massage? According to Chamberlain in 1982, the aim of deep friction massage is to maintain the mobility within the soft tissue structures of ligament, tendon, and muscles. It also helps in reducing pain and mobilizing scar tissue. For example, after surgery, it will result to surgical wound. Once wound is completely healed, it is required to mobilize the surgical scar. This is to provide mobilization to the scar in order to prevent scar addition, which will develop if not mobilized. Scar addition will cause limited range of motion to the individual. Therefore, it is suggested to perform deep friction massage as it increases blood flow to the area, which in return facilitates healing and prevent addition. For the intervention procedure, first, we need to make sure the patient is in a comfortable position. Next, we need to identify the site of treatment. Then, start with applying pressure with the pest of your fingers or a thumb transversely across the fibers. Continue to rub back and forth over the treatment area. Lastly, the pressure should be deep enough to move the tissue back and forth yet light enough to be tolerable to the patient. Let's take a look at example of how to implement this intervention. This is Mr. H. He works as a painter. He was diagnosed with lateral epicondylitis which is caused by inflammation to the extensor carpi radialis brevis muscle due to repetitive use of the muscle. He complains of throbbing pain at his elbow area. Therefore, we can apply deep vision massage to Mr. H with the aim to alleviate pain. First, make sure the patient is in a comfortable position. Second, identify the site of treatment. For example, for lateral epicondylitis condition, we will identify the lateral epicondyle, which is the insertion of the extensor carpi radialis brevis muscle. 
Third, apply pressure with the pads of your fingers or a thumb transversely across the fibers. Next, rub back and forth over the treatment area. Lastly, the pressure should be deep enough to move the tissue back and forth firmly yet light enough to be tolerable to the patient. There are also a few precautions. First, make sure that there are no open wounds at the site of treatment. Next, make sure to always remain within the patient's tolerance. For the grading, we should provide the deep friction massage as patient tolerated. For the duration, progress according to patient's condition. For example, start by providing deep friction massage for 5 minutes. Later, progress by adding the duration depend on the need of the intervention. If there are no presence of addition to the structure, we can discontinue the deep friction massage. Moving on to evidence base, first, in a study by Yi et al., it is found that deep friction massage is an effective treatment strategy for lateral epicondylitis. In this study, patients treated with deep friction massage show significant improvement in DASH score, VAS pain score, and grip strength compared to patients who receive splinting or steroid injection as treatment for lateral epicondylitis. However, according to a review by Lau et al., the result of the review stated that there is still insufficient or lack of evidence to determine the effects of deep transverse friction massage on pain, improvement in grip strength, and functional status for patients with lateral elbow tendinitis or knee tendinitis. Moving on to the conclusion, muscle adhesion or scar tissue refers to abnormal adherence of collagen fibers to surrounding structures that can be caused by injury, repetitive motions or sustained contraction of muscle. Without treatment, patient will experience severe aching and pain besides having limited range of motion which will cause difficulties in performing activities of daily living such as bathing or grooming, instrumental activities of daily living such as meal preparation and laundry, sleep, leisure, work and social functions. These problems will eventually affect the individual's quality of life. Deep friction massage is one of the recommended treatment to help reduce pain, maintain mobility and range of motion besides mobilizing scar tissue to prevent adhesion becoming more severe. According to a systematic review from Cochrane Database of Systematic Reviews, researchers conclude that there are still limited and insufficient evidence in this area. Further investigations need to be conducted to determine the effects of deep transverse friction massage on pain and preventing scar adhesion in variety of conditions.